But first, the chaser stunt that's exposed a flaw in Apex security. A fake motorcade, comedians posing as bodyguards and one dressed as terrorist leader Osama bin Laden managed to get within metres of the hotel where US President George W Bush is staying. While the chaser gang went looking for laughs, police are seeing red. Did it all look official? Oh, they're pretty good. It's the chaser's war on Apex. A comedy sketch and a security breach rolled into one. I thought that was really strange and I hadn't seen that so far at Apex. Guys are running alongside the car like in a movie, so I, I grabbed the camera and just got a few shots of it. Channel 9 cameraman Rob Hopkins watched it unfold and captured this footage. I look across the road and this black limousine pulls up with two black four-wheel drives with a Canadian flag on the bonnet. And I just thought it was another convoy moving down. And, but the interesting thing was these security guys in dark suits get out of the car and literally start running down the road next to the convoy as it, as it pulls away off down Macquarie Street. They, they were very convincing, very convincing. It was only the fact that the, 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 one of the guys nearly got his foot run over that it actually, uh, I thought, you know, this is not very professional. Um, but yeah, they were, they were quite convincing. In a city that's in virtual lockdown, it was a bold prank. $140 million has been spent on Apex security. That's $24 million every 24 hours. They made it look pretty easy. You know, this is the heaviest security this country's ever seen. And these guys just uh, rolled up in a, in a couple of black cars uh, with a flag, Canadian flag on the, on, the, on the front of it, on the bonnet, and in they went. The fake motorcade ironically funded by the federal government through the ABC, made its way through a security checkpoint known as the Green Zone. Reporter Damien Ryan from National 9 News was watching on. I don't think they realised that uh, without their, their security passes that they were going to get as close as they did. And, uh, and, you know, and I think that they just thought, well, we've got to keep going with this. How close did they get to the President's Hotel, the Intercontinental? Ten metres. The team from the Chaser had just executed their grandest gag yet. The world's most powerful man and the world's most wanted in the same place at the same time. Osama bin Laden was asked to show his face so um, they removed the beard and uh, he stood there and police sort of grabbed the cameras. There were quite a few cameras there. All the people who were driving the limousines were rounded up. The so-called security contingent was also rounded up. And um, there were, by this stage, there were police everywhere. OK, you got something here, sir? Set. A map. Thank you. Very APEC much, has sir. provided a golden opportunity for the popular pranksters from the ABC. OK, now, what are these tools for, sir? Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> gardener. Yesterday, cast members were forced to remove clothing that resembled police uniforms. You need that covered, that belt covered. You, you can't, you can't. Well, yeah. Why don't we just take the belt off? You take the belt off. But that was nothing compared to today. Julian Morrow and Chaz Lichardello were arrested and taken into custody, along with other crew members. In total, there were 11 arrests. Well, they probably thought mission accomplished. Late today, Chaser cast member Craig Rucastle visited the Sydney police station where his colleagues were being questioned. Hey, Craig, Peter Stefanovic, a current matter. affair, mate. How is this going to affect your future pranks at all? Uh, we're still trying to determine that. Yeah. Did you call this one a success or a failure? We're still trying to determine that as well, I think. Yeah. Have you determined anything yet? Uh, not a great deal. It's an embarrassing one, no doubt, for the security forces, you know. They've spent millions and millions of dollars on this. There are police everywhere. They're being brought in from everywhere. Federal, state, you know, they're everywhere. So there will be, no doubt, questions asked on an official level. Oh, yeah, bums will be kicked. There's no doubt about that. You know, this should not have happened. Ben Fordham with that report. And a police spokesman said the producers of the program were warned earlier this week to seriously consider the ramifications of stunts during APEC.